Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I just wanted to do a quick little intro on this video. As you can see, it is a clean with me. I'm gonna speed clean with you guys to show you guys everything that I do for the season change. These are things I like to do like every three, four months that I don't find necessary. Every like cleaning when you clean every week or every month. These are definitely things that just accumulate over time that need to be done, but they don't need to be done so often. I hope it gives you guys some inspiration and some motivation to clean your house. There are a couple outfit changes and they are not flattering and I apologize for that. I realized after when I was editing, I was like, ooh, gotta burn that outfit. So just bear with me on those outfits. And I say outfits because I am pregnant and it is exhausting to clean so much in one day. So I spread this out over the course of a couple days. All this can be done in one day. It really doesn't take that much time, maybe like three, four hours if you are quick and efficient. And also depending on the size of your house, of course. But I can only do so much. <laughs> I'll also leave down below a list of everything that I like to do with the season change, like my top 10 items of what I like to get done in the house. This way, if you missed it throughout the video or if you just need me to explain it again, it's all down below. Or if you just want a quick little cleaning list, it's right there. Let me know if you guys are cleaning with me or you're just watching this or it's just background noise for you because I love listening to cleaning videos as background noise when I'm cleaning. It just helps kind of white noise and helps me clean a little. So we will get into this and I hope you guys enjoy it. So starting off, I am going to vacuum my stairs. This is something that I do more than every three, four months because it is definitely necessary, but I wanted to show you guys why I do this. And it is something that did really need to be done because I put off doing it. So I just figured I'd show you guys me vacuuming it. I know some vacuums are a lot easier to be cleaning with, but this one detaches from the whole vacuum itself, so it's not so bad. It is heavy, so I do sit while I'm doing it, whether I'm pregnant or not, because it's just a lot easier. I can be up close and really see all the dirt and everything that needs to be pulled out. And something I always make sure I vacuum is the sides of the stairs and also those baseboards going down the stairs because they do get dusty. And now I'm showing you guys what I do every season change is I do just wipe down the wood with an all-purpose cleaner or a Lysol wipe. This does have disinfectant in it, so it's very good right now. And the baseboards, just because the vacuum does get rid of some dust, but it does not wipe it off. And I'm telling you what a difference this makes. And especially like if you look at your towel when it's done, it is so gross. And oh my god, look at that waddle up the stairs. I cannot get over. Also, I showed myself how unflattering these stripes are. But what I like to also do is vacuum these corners. I vacuum all the time, but definitely the corners are something that get accumulated a little bit. And I also like to spray down all the baseboards and any walls that have anything on it. While I'm on the ground, I also wipe down any plugs and then I also do the bottom of doors because where you kick it with your foot gets definitely really dirty and I also do all the light switches and all the door handles in my house, especially with some Lysol wipes. Now all the doors in my house do have this design which does accumulate dust a little bit. It's not something that has to be done so often but I do have to go around and do it. And also where you touch the doors and open them, if you wear makeup you will see it on there especially with white doors so I always try to scrub that down. Anything like a magic eraser, Lysol or those Lysol wipes, wipe them right off that makeup so that I always do and I really like this all purpose cleaner from Lysol because it really disinfects everything, it wipes everything off and it's so easy with a microfiber cloth. So I'm just going to go ahead and wipe down that light switch and also any of the remaining doors in my house that have those grooves that could get dusty. All right, now for probably the most satisfying part is this carpet cleaner from Bissell that I picked up on Amazon for about $100. This is something that same thing, like we probably should do a little bit more often. We did this about seven weeks ago for the first time, so I wanted to do a second pass, but this is something I'll probably do every two months instead, seeing what happened afterwards. And what you do is you just fill this bottle with mostly water and a little bit of their formula click it into their water vacuum and oh my gosh just wait for the most satisfying thing like this carpet doesn't look that bad right now it definitely looks a little dirty but how old this carpet is it's bound to get dirty 
So I did speed this up for you guys. So you're seeing this in a lot more fast motion. But what I do is when I go forward, I pull the trigger with the formula, letting it go. And then I do about three passes over it, just going really slow over it. Like I said, I'm going a little bit fast because this is about eight times speeding. But you want to take your time with this to really soak everything up. But you can kind of see as I'm going what's happening. And like I said, we did this a few weeks ago and it ran clear when we were done. And so the fact that this was not clear was shocking. This was also super easy to do. I really enjoyed doing it. It was pretty relaxing and definitely like soothing, especially if you listen to some spa music while doing it. And also just to see the satisfying part to see everything lifted up is so nice. So I'm just gonna let you guys watch and see the transformation. All right, now for the part I think everyone wants to see is look at that water and what it collected. It is so gross and I vacuumed before this, but it still collected some dust and cat hair, but oh my gosh, that was so gross. Definitely something I'm gonna have to keep up on seeing this. But I wanted to show you guys from this angle. I hope you guys could tell a difference because I totally can and this is so worth it. It makes it look so bright and like the carpet. All right, my next kind of least favorite part to do, but then I love getting into it, is cleaning the windows. Now this one was blocked last spring. I only do this every spring, summer, but I wasn't able to get to this window last year, so I did not clean it, so it was the worst in my house. So I wanted to show you the biggest transformation. It had everything in it, so first I just wipe everything down and anything that fell. And my favorite way to clean these windows is I just take baking soda and I sprinkle it across wherever that grime is and I pour some white vinegar right on top, let it sizzle, let it sit for a minute. And with a toothbrush, you just scrub it off and it is so easy. And it's actually, like I said, kind of satisfying. You get into it once you're into it. So like I said, the best thing to do is let it sit for a minute, let all those juices soak in and kind of remove any of the pollen and I'll just vacuum any of those little twigs that fell in the meantime and then I take my toothbrush and just scrub away into all the crevices and it works so, so easy. So I'll show you guys that and then I like to take a cup of water and I pour it right over it, let it rinse off and it is the easiest thing. There's not a lot of hassle to it. You just need a lot of water. So that's the only hassle I have to keep going back to fill up my water cup, but that's all to it. And then when I am done, I just take a cloth or a towel and I wipe down any remaining water or pollen and those little corners you can get with a Q-tip if you feel that you need to. And when you shut it, things always fall. So I just like to give it an extra little wipe after you shut the screen and that's it to it. And now this window, I just wanted to show you guys, I didn't clean it yet, but if you keep up on it, this one I did last year, they don't get that bad. So the next thing I like to do every three, four months is just wipe the tops of the walls that normally do accumulate some dust or some cobwebs that you don't normally see until you look at your cloth after. And it's definitely something that does need to be done every couple months.
Now I do normally use the Swiffer, either the stick that it comes with or if I have the Swiffer refills, but I could not find my stick and I do like using a microfiber cloth because it is a little bit more equal friendly. So I did go ahead and just use this pull, which was so much easier actually because I was able to reach the corners that I normally can. And I also dust the tops of the door frames. All right, on to my next little task is my husband's closet. Now, this is something I feel like men do not care enough to keep up with, but I did do his closet a couple months ago. I reorganized it. I Kanmari modoed all his t-shirts, which was so, so nice. It fits so great in these little three cube cabinets that you can get from Walmart, very cheap. However, when I was cleaning, I did notice that his closet got a little bit messy and all of his t-shirts and his long sleeve got a little combined. So I decided to just kind of take everything and reorganize it. Not that they noticed, but it makes me feel better if I look into it and everything is a little bit neater. So I'm just refolding everything and putting any colors together that need to be. That will get mixed up, but for now it's fine. And any long sleeves got mixed with his t-shirts, I'm going to take that out and put it back in with his long sleeves. And I'm just showing you guys here if you are interested how I do fold his long sleeves. The t-shirts are the same way. I just don't have to fold that long sleeve over and tuck it in. But I do fold it like that by the collar and then in half and then another half. And it keeps everything pretty neat, which I really like. And it's definitely a little bit more satisfying to look at, easier to find your clothes. So I definitely recommend folding your t-shirts like this. All right, now it's time for my closet, which is a little bit of a bigger task. I do switch over now my summer and winter clothes. I only do this every summer and every winter. It's not that necessary to do it every three, four months, but that basket in front of me has all my summer clothes, so I'm taking anything out. I'm obviously not gonna be able to wear a lot of my summer clothes this year because I'm gonna be inside probably due to COVID and I'm due in the middle of summer, so these clothes probably won't fit me anyway, but I wanted to take them out and pack any of my sweaters up back in that box so that it can go back in the closet and make some room. So along with putting some of those sweaters or winter clothes away and also hanging up summer clothes, I like to take this time to look at my clothes and see what can be donated, what I'm not wearing anymore, what I don't need, because it definitely frees up some room. And it's something where you take everything out and you kind of look at it again and say, okay, I don't really need this. It's off the hanger already instead of keeping it on the hanger. Then I tend to keep it. So when I take it off, it's nice. Also in that bottom left corner, I have some shirts that I was wearing for the first few months of pregnancy that were big or baggy or that could hide my belly. So I'm going to go ahead and put everything back where it belongs now. You'll see that in a little bit. So I'll let you guys enjoy and watch. And also this is one of the unflattering outfits. If you see, you know what I mean, but I had to edit around it because you know what? It just wasn't cute, but we all have butts. So did the best I could. I know for next time, live and learn, right?
so that is everything all organized and put away. So when that is done, I just put the curtains back up and hide everything. And that's it for my cleaning routine for everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys stayed through this whole video, thank you so much. Leave a comment below if you did stick through it because props. And I will see you next week with a new video.